Joining us for a while, one of our favorite guys, smartest guys for sure, is political analyst Scott Hughes. Welcome back to Keel Amigo. How are you today? Good morning. Feeling great. Take it away. You've got great questions. Mayoral forum last night. First one, there were the the five candidates were there. Um, first impressions, I guess, that you get, you, you watched it, I assume. I watched most of it, yeah. Okay. First impressions. Um, first impressions, it was a get-to-know-you type forum. It okay. Was, the, 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 the format wasn't very exciting. The questions were kind of vanilla. But considering that we got three-plus months to do this, mm -hmm. it was probably a good coming-out party. Okay. There were, um, there were no losers. I'll go with that. I don't think anybody hurt themselves. I think that um, my initial takeaways, and I did watch it with a few millennials. That, right. Because that was the target audience, and I asked them afterwards. Um, they felt that Perkins did very well. They mm -hmm. felt that Jackson did very well. They felt that Ollie was probably third just because she escaped with no damage. I mean, you, you kind of go in thinking she might get attacked, and she really didn't. Did you go in person, or were you watching it online? We watched online. Okay. And, and the first part really wasn't available. It came sure. on, but it was pretty good. pretty good video. Okay. Aaron, Aaron and I have discussed at some length. You said you heard the segment previous. Aaron and I have discussed at some length the different issues that pertain to different demographics. You said this was that forum yesterday put on by Heliopolis and another group. Um, you said it was aimed at millennials. What do you think the number one issue for, let's say, folks under 30 in this mayoral election are or around that millennial demographic? In my gut is if you're under 30, you, you, you probably have two. Number one's jobs because I think that, you know, what's going to keep me here? That's mm -hmm. number one. Why do I stay in Shreveport? That's a job. Um, very closely related to that is quality of life. You know, a lot of millennials, um, they're they're not really into their career yet, but quality of life can make a big difference. Um, and so other things finished second, and you saw that last night. You, you saw, um, I, I didn't mention earlier, there was there were five candidates um, at the forum. Um, I think John Paul Young was another winner mm -hmm. because most folks had never seen him before. Sure. And he comes across as highly intelligent. He comes across as maybe a little out there with his ideas, right. definitely out of the box thinking. But um, probably was attractive. It was a good forum for him because the millennial audience. That's his crowd. Yeah. That's his crowd. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, and then fifth, Leo, Lee Savage, um, you know, probably struggled in that format. That's not his crowd. Right. And so, but um, the, the, the other thing that my big takeaway of that was there's 10 candidates. We only saw five. Right. It's going to be a long mayoral season yeah. if that if those five. But millennials came away thinking about what what's going to keep me in Shreveport. Do I want to live in Shreveport? I think mm -hmm. that's their question. You you told us the last time when I asked you about how much attacking they're going to do on uh, Mayor Tyler, and you said it's going to be about who does that the best. We didn't see a whole lot of direct attack. Are you you thinking they're warming up to that? This is July. <laughs> the election, the last I checked, is in November. Right. And so we have three full months. Um, we are out the gate. Like I say, I think we're going to see a series, a round of this. I think we're going to see a feeling out period where people want to introduce themselves. And that's what yesterday's forum was very, mm -hmm. very good. I think if you look at, I think it was wise, because I think if you look at numbers, millennials aren't into negative at, you know, attacking. Millennials um, have this, this, this view of the world that it can be better. It's a nice place. We want to improve it. And so negative campaigning is not going to work with the young crowd. They, they want to know what your ideas are. So yesterday was a, probably a pretty good forum for that. Did you, you know? see, did you see her? as defensive i saw her a little bit defensive she she was slightly defensive there was a police question or two um but really for the most part it was a good forum for the mayor she she didn't get directly attacked and she played incumbent she got to answer every time she got answered questions she got to say and she likes the term we mm -hmm. she got to say we did this we did this we did this mm -hmm. and that's standard incumbent tell people what you've done you come across looking very knowledgeable very intelligent because you know city government i think one of the things that came out over the the the, the constant questioning is a lot of the candidates don't know city government they don't um there was a lot of we're going to hire this we're going to buy that we're going to build this and that may show a lack of understanding of where the city is financially today mm -hmm. um down the line just sort of piggybacking with what aaron had said about attacking the mayor do you think they can really get away with that do you think there's a line that male candidates can't cross with ms tyler at what uh, can it get to a point where they appear like they're they're attacking the woman? And is it in Ollie's DNA to throw the Hillary card back at them? You're just a bunch of sexists attacking me, a female. 
Well, it, it's going to be interesting. I think it's worth remembering. Ollie was the superintendent of schools for a number of years and through a very contentious period. She certainly didn't have what you would deem a friendly school board when she was there. So she is used to standing in public and defending herself. Um, if you go back to the school board years, I think the school board members that, that were not in Ollie's um, camp when she was superintendent did a good job of attacking policy, attacking results, attacking personnel moves, attacking construction projects. And I think there's a big difference of attacking the candidate, i.e. a national politics, mm -hmm. what we saw in the last, last, last national debate, attacking character. I don't think anyone's going to attack Ollie's character. But if they go after her politics, and it will, it will come around, I think what we're going to see is we have so much time and that we'll probably see forms that get very specific. When we get down to having a form on crime itself, that's the only topic, and the six or seven questions are just crime, I think you will see them get deeper into what has she done. And so attacking her as a person, no, but attacking her politics, that, that's going to come. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it? Are we going to be exhausted? Are we starting too early? Is this... Or do you think we're going to have, since qualifying just wrapped up, well, we're going to have a few forums early, then it's going to kind of kind of calm down for a little bit until the last, say, 45 to 60 days? Because it's, it's 100 days away. Well, my, my other big takeaway is I watched last night. I had flashbacks to the Republican process for president oh, a couple of years yeah. ago. If you remember, we used to have the, we had the varsity debate and the JV debate. Yeah, you had the kids' table. And, and I kept looking, thinking, there's only five of them there. We've got three months to go. I'm afraid we may delve, delve into that. You're never going to have all 10 together, probably. That's almost mm -hmm. impossible. So do we get the kids' table? Mm -hmm. Do we get the, 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 the rounds where the people in the lesser debate are trying to swing for the fences to get to the big table? And then once you get to the big table, what do you say to get the headline? So how do, that's a good question. So how do the John Paul Youngs, how do the Tremekius Dixons, how do the the, I don't want to say second tier candidates, but you know what I mean. What do those candidates have to do to be taken, I don't want to say seriously, but to take the step up to the big girl table? And, and that's, I think that's the big challenge in this one. They're going to have to do something to get attention. Like I said, I think last night was a good forum for John Paul Young. It was a good venue. Um, he was definitely, I think, a winner because most folks had never seen him before. But we have four other candidates that I believe most folks in town have never seen. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to have to A, get on the stage, or they have to raise money or get the awareness. And it's going to be a high challenge. After that debate uh, on each of those guys, if you were running their campaign and they said, what could I have done better? Let's start with, let's start with uh, Adrian. I think Adrian did a. I think Adrian did about as well a job as he could do last night because his 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 role last night was to introduce himself. A lot okay. of folks in town, despite that he may be one of the front runners, mm -hmm. quote unquote, you can't see quotes on the radio. Sure, um, but he um, he's not known to a lot of folks, so he was trying to get through introducing. He did he, he did a good job. I think he came across across as very competent. Mm -hmm. um, I think his problem was sitting next to him. And that's Stephen Jackson. Right. What could he have done better? I think Stephen Jackson probably could have um, could have gone a little harder in his government background. He was several times was very strong when he talked about having worked in the mayor's office before, having mm -hmm. worked in the legislature before. And so I think Jackson has he's Adrian Perkins was very similar, you know, style of campaign. Mm -hmm. It's just he's been here in town doing it. And so you have an outsider and an insider. Mm -hmm. And I think both of them did did very, very well. I think that they, they may be battling for one of the spots or they could get both spots. Savage have a weak spot, did you see? I think Savage, it, this, A, wasn't his venue, so we'll say that. He'll do very he'll do much better in different audiences. But I think Savage, he looked the least comfortable last night. Mm -hmm. I think Savage is the most comfortable um, if he's wearing a, a T-shirt out picking up trash or talking yeah. to people in neighborhoods or knocking on doors. Um, putting on the coat and tie, I think, made him look a little uncomfortable. I think, you know, the public speaking aspect may be an issue for him. But he but he, he was solid. And t Tyler, real quick? Tyler looked mayoral. That's her mm -hmm. job. Look mayoral, deflect any negativity. She did a good job. Okay. Okay. And real quick, John Paul. I think John Paul, he put himself on the radar. I don't think he's going to be a major player in the end. I think he's running to promote an idea, his, his idea, sustainable food and livable um, community. And I think that's going to be his goal this campaign.